Oh, hey, Tom, what are you doing, man? I'm grilling some brats. Whoa, brats, it's 930. Breathless brats. <laughs> you want one? Yeah, of course, I'll take one. Ooh, smells pretty good, Tom. Yeah, it does. What do you want to do after we eat? I don't know. You got any ideas? Um, I have a few ideas. We could make mud angels. We could count quarters or dimes. Spin around and do moves. Start digging the house small. We could make a song out of sauces. Song out of sauces. What do you mean by that? So we like get a bunch of sauces and we like throw them out a wall and then we squirt them out and we record the sounds and then you make a song out of the sounds. Sounds cool, but maybe a little specific. What about like general house sounds? We can record those and make a song out of that. In addition to the sauce sounds. Yeah, okay, that sounds fun. House sounds. House sounds. House music. Mm -hmm. Uh, samples? We need samples. Yes, we need samples. You're right. We could use a phone, maybe a computer. Mm, I don't want to use a computer. I'm a software engineer. I'm looking at screens all day. But I do have a handy little recorder and an XLR. So we could take one end of the XLR, put it in a recorder, put the other end in a microphone, and then we could record the sounds onto an SD card. Perfect. Let's do this. Cue the montage. Whee! Seen my brats. I was gonna make them for supper. Uh, dinner brats? No, I don't think so. Sorry. Wow. Uh, keep an eye out for you though. Got the sounds. Got the sounds. We gotta upload them. Yeah, you're right. And trim them. And export them to the sense. All right. That's it. I got all the samples loaded into the Digitech. Nice, and I've got the samples loaded in a pair of jeans and the Instra Looper. All right, well, a lot of our samples are percussive, so why don't we just start with drums? Yeah, let's get a beat going, Tone. Let's do it. We'll need to do a little bit of tuning and a little bit of manipulation to get these to sound right and use them as drums. We start with our book drop sample. We combine it with the one from downstairs. You can tune it a little bit lower. 
Now that we got the kick drum sound, I went ahead and did that with a few more samples. We got our cassette. Okay, patches, all the drums are in. I sequenced them into a beat. Let's see what we got. With our last sample, the microwave, it's tuned. So we can actually play it like a keyboard. Which allows us to drop it in. Yeah, I like this, Patches. What do you think, man? This is great. Patches. Patches. Oh, well, sorry, Toad. What do you think of the beat? I like the beat, man. It sounds good. You were listening to the beat? Yeah, I was listening to the beat. All right, well, what was in the headphones then? The modular. I patched something up to sprinkle on top. A little something rhythmic. You patched something up already? Well, what do you have? Well, I'll show you. So I got the sound of the water hitting the pad going into the install looper. And then I pitched it and laid it on top of each other four times. Kinda sounds like a chord. Then you can filter it down a little bit, you know, add some resonance. Maybe even a little random voltage. Then you patch in a gate. Add a little delay. So we got the sample of the kitty cat loaded in the morphogy. Then you can pick the spot and the size of the sample. Plug in a trigger to play it. Then on the stages, I got a couple steps going in that controls the speed and pitch. Then you add some delay. Yeah, so that's basically it. Just got those two sounds in there doing like a percussive thing. Very nice, Patches. Thanks. I feel like now though we need some low end, you know what I mean? Like some low end. Low end. Bass line. Yeah. All right, well, we got a bunch of samples. What do you think? What can we use for a bass line? Yeah, I don't know. I played with them earlier, but I couldn't really get either of these ones to record to work. Really? Yeah, they weren't low enough. Hmm. Well, what are you thinking? Well, I could get one out from my personal collection. Patches, patches, this isn't working, man. Well, they just, uh, give me, give me one second. Patches, this isn't even a baseline, man. Come on. Well, they just tell you why this LFO. If I pitch it out a little more, it's gonna work. There's no pitch, patches. You can't do anything with Come it. Come on. Just give me a sec. I'll be a minute. Pull the patch, patches. No. Get out of there, man! No! I'm gonna make it work! Patches, pull up, man. Pull up. Pull the patch, Patches! Oh, oh, <sighs> 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 Woo! Thanks, Toad. That was really miles away. Yeah, you were. You alright, man? Yeah, I was really trapped in that hole. 
look, man, those were some genuinely interesting explorations in sound, but we have that sample of me blowing in a bottle. It's pretty deep. We can use that as a baseline. Let's see what we can do with that. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's try it out. Okay, we took our bottle sample. We put it through the Morphogene, tuned it to a keyboard so we could play it like a bass. Put it back into the Digitact. Put some effects on it, dropped an envelope on there. Now we can try to figure out a bass line. Uh, yeah, that's a great bass line, Toad. Yeah, it's really great. I like it a lot. Yeah, it sounds real good. It got me real inspired, man. What if we just, like, made a couple of patterns or something? Yeah, can't be afraid to mix it up, Patches. Let's try it. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. It turned out really great. Yeah, it turned out good. Seems like we could make a song out of anything. Well, almost anything. Ah, yeah. Sorry, Patches. We'll find the music in the saw soon. Don't worry. When? Soon. Tomorrow? <laughs>